Hello friends, I'm Dr. Tito Jackson for today. We're going to answer four questions about proteins. What are proteins? Why do we need them? How much do we need them? And are we getting enough? Okay, we're going to start with a pop uh, quiz. How many grams of protein do you need to meet your requirements? 40, 60, 80, 120 grams a day. And how many grams the average American typically eats? Again, 40, 60, 80, 120, 150 grams. We'll answer those questions at the end of this video. Today we're going to address one of the macronutrients, proteins. There are three macronutrients. We have addressed carbs, we have addressed fats in prior videos. Today we turn our attention to uh, proteins. Here's a cartoon from the Wall Street Journal when the box says protein, shoppers say I'll take it. Uh, what are proteins anyhow? The word protein comes from the Greek protos meaning first showing its high ranking in the human uh, nutrition. Proteins are compounds made of amino acids. They're really building blocks of proteins. And what are amino acids? Amino acids are compounds uh, shown here uh, that have uh, amino group and uh, nitrogen, hydrogen, uh, two atoms, a carboxyl uh, group, a COOH, and the side chain. They are uh, acids with amino group, why we call them amino acids. And we have 20 amino acids and 9 are considered essential, meaning our body cannot uh, make them. Uh, it cannot synthesize them. We need to get them from our food. A bunch of amino acids together form peptides and these peptides form proteins and they are synthesized in a part of our cells called uh, ribosomes. Uh, what do they do in our bodies? Uh, they are vital to life. They are 60% of our body mass and they are uh, extremely important in our defenses. Uh, they are, our immunoglobulins, our antibodies that help us fight bacteria, uh, viruses, and cancer cells. They're part of our immune uh, uh, system. They are very important on, on transporting uh, molecules that otherwise could not be moved without them uh, because they're insoluble in the blood. A uh, great example is iron that is uh, moved around in a protein called hemoglobin. They function as hormones like insulin that let glucose enter into the cells. They function as enzymes that help digest our food like amylase in our saliva, the peptidase in, in our stomach and our intestine. And they are part of our body structure, the, our skin, our bones, our tendons or skeletal muscle. Can we store excess uh, protein? This is a very important question because excess carbs, we can store them as glycogen in the liver and our muscles. They usually last depending on how much activity you're doing, but overall 24 hours. The fats, we can store them in uh, as well in places we may not like them, in our belly, in our chin, but uh, proteins, we can actually store them. The excess proteins, uh, can be transformed into carbs and uh, fat. Uh, and the excess nitrogen will be excreted by the kidneys as ammonia. And let's address how much do we need a day. Uh, the RDA, the recommended day allowance, is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight for a 154 pound person will be 56 grams for a 220 pound will be 80 grams. If you only weigh 110 pounds, that will be 40. And how much Americans eat? Uh, way much more. The needs obviously uh, vary uh, throughout life. You need more during childhood, during pregnancy, especially during the second and uh, third trimester if you are breastfeeding. Uh, if you are an athlete, if you're a bodybuilder, you need more, obviously. But overall, we Americans and Europeans, we all eat enough protein and more than enough. And here's a slide of the European countries and how much they eat also uh, more than uh, they need. We Americans are obsessed with proteins. They are everywhere and we have now uh, protein water. In uh, conclusion, proteins are vital to life. They are made of amino acids. The nine of the 20 amino acids are essential. We need to get them from our food. Americans are just fabulous confused about how much they need and uh, uh, from what sources. In general, we get 
more than we need and there is room to change from animal to plant proteins providing more fiber as well if you are interested in uh, learning more about fiber look at my prior uh, videos on the carbs and the cholesterol and it's uh, quiz time uh, how many grams of protein do you need to meet your requirement again 0.8 grams per kilogram depending on your weight uh, will vary between 40 and uh, 80 grams a day and how many grams a day the typical American eats 120 and a bulk. and remember your health is too important to be together to others let's just take control if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell I'll write a comment I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month See you next video.